Okay, so hello and welcome to another lecture in uh, ConfiUI image generation course by techlatest.net. So far we had covered a lot of things like overview, course overview, objectives, then about uh, ConfiUI stable diffusion, setup installation of ConfiUI and various cloud platforms like AWS, GCP and Azure. Now in this lecture we'll talk about how to download and use custom models basically. Okay. So let's get started. Uh, this guide is also on techlatest.net website. So if you check this URL techlatest.net slash support slash confi support and how to use uh, download model. I am also again show you. So this is basically the support product and support page. If you click on confi product. So here you can see the step by step guide how to download and use custom models. Okay. So once your confi stable diffusion AI image generation made simple VM is up and running and connect to the VM via SSS to download and use new uh, custom model checkpoints. Okay, so my VM is already running here. You can see that my three VM is running. Okay, so so like uh, let's let's uh, uh, move to our next step. So by default, this VM comes with SDXL base 1.0 checkpoint to connect via to the SSH terminal. Please follow our getting started guide. So my terminal is already connected here. Okay, I'm I'm in the checkpoint. Uh, um, uh, uh, like once connected to the SSH terminal, navigate to the checkpoint directory. So I am already in the checkpoint uh, directory. Here you can see I first I have to run this command, then I am entering in checkpoint directory. Okay, so uh, like uh, there are several channels available to download the stable diffusion model such as hugging phase. Search for the download URL of the desired checkpoint. If you check hugging phase, okay, so here you can see this is a hugging phase. For example, this guide will download the stable cascade model for confui from hugging face using Vagit. to do so uh, go to hugging face website open models page okay so first uh, uh, let's let's do with cascade model okay so search about cascade model here and uh, you can see the stable diffusion cascade model here then uh, next step is uh, to do so go hugging face website option models page on model page search for your required model in top search bar you can also apply different filters to search around here we will uh, search uh, with stable cascade and select the first option which is stable a stable TEI stable uh, stable cascade from the search result okay so this is basically the stable if you stable TI stable cascade if again I am search for stable cascade okay stable cascade so here you can say charts uh, Alina stable cascade if you check this one so the here you can say download last month is 28 if you click on files and version so here you can see the config checkpoints okay so it will open in a stable cascade model details page on this page click files and version tab as shown below okay so here i am already in files and version tab so in files and version open config checkpoints folder so here you can see the config checkpoint folder if you click if you open this checkpoint folders so the here you can see the stable cascade stage b tensors and stage c tensors so if you open anyone so i am opening stage stage b tensors okay then uh, it will show you a list of com available config checkpoints click on the desired one you can uh, copy the download link from the page and paste in the wget command to download the model on your config again so basically this is the command okay and uh, i am copying this command first then i am using with wget or w get and I am paste by this pasting this one. Okay, so I am uh, paste this uh, this URL also. Then uh, replace uh, with your uh, URL with your models. Okay, so same here. If you uh, if you uh, like maximize this, so on website you can check same. I am doing same thing. Like we have to first use w get command and then paste the URL of the model okay now hit enter so it will download the model first okay so here you can see we have successfully download the model and here you can see that we have extracted or download the model so this is the command we have first run and then we have to download the model you can see the connected and other things then a stable cascade stays 100 percent okay uh, now our model is available in the checkpoint directory of the config setup folder okay so uh, let's uh, go with another steps. So if you check that, I check with ls commands. So here you can see the stable uh, stable cascade stage B tensors. Then SDXL SDSL is by default, and stable cascade stage B dot tensor is like we have uh, uh, used with wget command. First we have to download the model. Okay. Now if any reason your model is not available on the config page, reboot the VM and check again and again. Okay. 
So here you can see that we have uh, in load checkpoint SDXL base model is by default. So if you click on this, so here you can see the stage stable cascade stage B safe tensors model are there. Okay, and if you check uh, same thing, so we have first uh, use wget command and with URL of the model, we have to download from hugging face. Then if you do ls again here, so here you can see the stable cascade stage B tensors and this is SDXL base 1.0 by default. Okay, so here you can also check on Confu UI user interface. So that's how it works. And that's all about this lecture. I hope you guys like this lecture. Don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. We will meet in next video.